It is frigid in mid-Michigan, and as the temperature drops, more people are in need of a warm place to stay, so a local shelter is welcoming people in. But right now, the state is dealing with its biggest surge in daily COVID cases, and it has many concerned about catching the virus. TV5's James Felton spoke with the shelter about what protocols are in place to keep everyone as safe as possible. Our numbers last night were 178 people, so there's been a a definite spike over these last couple of weeks. As the temperatures go down, the number of people needing a warm place to stay goes up. Dan Streeter is the CEO of Rescue Ministries of Mid-Michigan. He tells us COVID-19 protocols are in place to keep people both warm and safe. We're going to do like we have been right from the very start. We, we're making sure that we're taking a daily temperature test. When somebody first shows up as well to the shelter, we're doing a COVID test when they're a new uh, applicant to shelter. Uh, just so then that way we don't put somebody who's infected into a healthy general population. And even if someone does test positive for COVID, they won't be turned away. We're going to put them into isolation and, uh, and have them stay in a safe environment, but uh, bring meals to them. At this time, Streeter says the number of COVID cases at their shelters is low. We now just have a handful um, between our two locations in Bay City and Saginaw. So just kind of like one in each wing kind of deal. Streeter tells us putting as many people in the shelter as possible isn't feasible during the pandemic. So if there's no room, Streeter looks for other shelters to send people to. Putting them in a motel for a couple of days until a bed opens up is another option. Streeter wants everyone to know Rescue Ministries will do everything it can to keep them out of the cold. So if you need to, please stop by. Get out of the elements, don't wait uh, because uh, you know, when it's getting down to 10 degrees at night, boy, that, that becomes really critical in life and death. James Felton, WNEM TV5. Streeter tells us the shelter is in need of underwear, socks, and winter coats. If you'd like to make a donation, head to the hot link section of WNEM.com.